Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Shopify apps into your store. Shopify has hundreds of apps. It's such a good asset of building with this platform is that it's so customizable, but it's really important that you know how to navigate its app store and how to install the ones that you want to use. Shopify also has a three day free trial. So if you haven't used it yet and you want to give it a go, I'll pop a link in the description below for you. Let's go. Okay, so this is my Shopify dashboard. Um, so if you're adding apps from within a Shopify account, this is the best way to do it. So in this left hand sidebar, you want to scroll down and find apps just at the bottom here and click add apps. If you've already added some, they'll probably show up down there as well. Um, but you can see Shopify is suggesting some for us. Um, so this is the pop up that opens. You can see it's sort of listing some popular apps and um, they've got star ratings and little descriptions. You can scroll down and there's like a few different recommendations here, but Shopify has so many. So let's go and have a look at its full range. And to do that, you just want to click on this Shopify app store link down here. Um, and this will open up the full Shopify app store. Here it is. Um, and it will, there's so many. Um, so this is the homepage. So it can show popular apps for stores that are similar to yours. Um, you've got loads of integrations here. They are endless. So you've got TikTok, Pinterest, different social channels, um, email marketing, um, and print on demand, drop shipping, all that kind of thing. If you scroll down, there are sponsored apps. There are trending ones for the month. Um, and lots of different sort of case studies um, and tips, um, design, products, all of this. Obviously, that can be quite overwhelming. There are over 8,000 to choose from, so I'm not going to list them all. But that's why it's important to kind of get an idea of how to navigate this and narrow down what you're looking for. Usually you'll have something in mind, like a problem you want to solve or a service you want to give your customers on your store, um, and that will guide your search. But there are different ways to do it. So one is to come up to this browse apps tab here and you'll see you can browse by category. So sales channels, for example, if you want to integrate with Amazon or eBay point of sale, for example, you could go to here store design. If you want to sort of translate your content, um, add badges, you can do this store management. So support or analytics automations. All of these different ones so let's say I want to go for sales channels you click on this and you can see it's a similar layout to that home page but it is more tailored to what you're looking for um, so it's still got recommended ones popular ones um, and you can kind of see um, the way it's laid out here the other way to do it is to actually search for the apps you're looking for um, you might want to search for email marketing for example or social media let's have a look for that and see what comes up and you'll see it comes up with this results page um you can filter by you know whether the app was actually built for shopify you can compare different ones and they're really useful features to kind of narrow down as you can see there's still over 600 apps that have come up um from this search so really good idea to keep filtering down if you can um you can scroll through and have a look let's say i want to install tiktok you can open it up, have a look at the pricing, the highlights, read the information about it. You can view the features and possibly most importantly, you can read reviews of the app. Um, so you want to be looking for a high number of reviews and a good star rating. Check out the AI sort of overviews of the reviews um, and just make sure that other sellers are having a good time with the app before you install it. If you're happy, then come over and click install. As you can see, this brings you back to your Shopify dashboard. And if the app requires sort of access to things, it will check this with you before going through with the install. If you're happy, click install again to confirm. And this app is now installed in my Shopify store. So you can see it comes up with the sort of setup checklist. You can get going with your app straight away. Um, and there's TikTok shop management here. So it opens up a whole new dashboard within your Shopify backend. Um, you can see that it's now a pinned um, app appeared in the sidebar. So that's really handy just for navigating really quickly through your dashboard. If you are no longer using certain apps, you may want to uninstall them or if they're not working correctly to do that, just come up to the right hand corner here and click these three buttons 
and click uninstall. It will come up with a prompt, um, which is really helpful. So for example, making sure you have fulfilled all the orders from this app um, and you have to tick to confirm and uninstall it, which is really handy so you, you won't do this by accident. Um, select a reason um, for uninstalling and click uninstall to confirm. That has now removed the app from my dashboard. Um, you can view here all your currently installed apps. You can also go back and view your uninstalled ones. So you've got a really handy history there um, just to keep on top of all your apps. Like I said, Shopify has hundreds. Um, so usually you will find yourself using apps quite a lot, but it's really important not to go overboard. Having too many apps can really slow your site down and having out of date apps um, can be a bit of a danger to your store security, similar as having an out of date theme. It just opens up um, more risk uh, for bugs getting in. So those are things just to keep in mind while you're navigating Shopify's apps. But the main thing is just to have fun with it, um, check out all these cool apps and see how you want to customize your store um, and what might be fun to offer your customers um, to get the most out of your selling experience. And that's it. Hopefully you've seen um, how many Shopify apps are available for you and how easy it is to install them and get going with those apps within your dashboard. Um, I definitely recommend having a good old browser of Shopify's app store. There's so many in there. As you saw, it can be quite overwhelming. So make use of those filter features and search bar where you can. Um, just be aware that some apps are paid and some are free. Some have free trials, most of them do. Um, so just be aware of that when you're budgeting for your store and looking at which apps you would really like to download. Um, I hope that you found this helpful. Please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and do head on over to websitebuilderexpert.com for more guides, reviews and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.